On today's show, the future is calling. Are you ready for it? I'm Emma and welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat is made possible by you. Become a patron at geekbeat.tv forward slash patron. Hey gang, I'm Emma. I've met some of you already on the Geek Beat Slack chat recently. And if you're not on it, you can join at geekbeat.tv forward slash Slack. But that's not important right now. What is important is that John P left the geek house and I've taken over control. So Carter, let's get it on. Okay, you know how John P is always worrying about the robots taking over and eating our brains? It turns out that Ray Kurzweil, the noted futurist and inventor, agrees with him. Well, not about them eating our brains, but definitely the part about them taking over the world. Back in 1999, Kurzweil predicted that by 2019, a $1,000 computer will at least match the processing power of a human brain. By the way, neuroscientists estimate that to be about 20 million billion calculations per second. They came up with a number by multiplying the brain's 100 billion by the 1,000 connections per neuron and 200 calculations per second. Ray further speculated that by 2029, artificial intelligence will be a reality and your personal computer will have the power of 1,000 brains. To put that into perspective, the human brain has about 1,000 times the neurons of a rat. So what's your computer going to think of you in about 10 years? Oh, and let's not even talk about 2055, because what you'd spend on an iPad today, you would buy the processing power of all the human brains on Earth. Did you know that deuterium in a gallon of seawater is a million times more energy dense than a gallon of gas? It turns out that when you blend it up with a little tritium in a vat cooled to negative 269 degrees Celsius, you get a little thing called Fusion. And right now, they're actually building a giant vat that'll crank out 500 megawatts. That's as much as a normal nuclear reactor, and without all the risk of death and radiation in the zombie apocalypse. 35 countries are working together to build and assemble the 1 million parts necessary to complete the French fusion reactor called ITER. But why the name ITER? I mean, why not like Oscar or Ralph? Like, wouldn't it not be so cool to get your power from Ralph? On the bioengineering front, prepare to start seeing some blasts from the past. A team of geneticists at Harvard University successfully copied genes from a frozen woolly mammoth and pasted them into an Asian elephant goo using a DNA editing tool called CRISPR, or CRISPR. They plan to start incubating mammoth elephant hybrids in artificial wombs and then later crank it up to fully woolly mode. And after that, they're bringing back the saber-toothed tiger and then pretty much anything is game for de-extinction. I just have one question for these guys. Have they not seen Jurassic Park? <laughs> and of course, it shouldn't come to any surprise that engineers in China will be continuing smashing records as the economy booms. By 2020, they should finish a five-year construction plan to build the world's longest underwater tunnel. The Bohe Strait Tunnel would surpass the combined length of the world's two longest tunnels and drastically cut the current travel time between cities, currently separated by a 1,400-kilometer drive or an eight-hour ferry ride. Question is, where are they going to put the restrooms? Because I'm pretty sure that getting stuck in a 75-mile long stretch of underwater tunnel after eating some bad Chinese food, is the seventh level of hell. Well, that's it for today's show of Geek Beat. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, how about giving me a big fat thumbs up, and a share too, and a comment, and a like if you feel it. And while you're at it, pop over to geekbeat.tv forward slash patron and pledge a few bucks to help support our show, okay? Because you're important to our success, and if you pledge just $5 a month, you can get access to our patron-only Slack chat, where John P., Gabriella, Giovanni, and I will be sharing little goodies just for you. Thanks for watching, and I'm Emma, and see you next time.